Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about varicose carcinoma. What is varicose carcinoma? The term varicose which means like a wards. It is also known as Ackermann's tumor as it is the first reported as exogenous and well differentiated variant by Ackermann. Actually, varicose cell carcinoma is a warty variant of squamous cell carcinoma characterized by an exophytic overgrowth of well differentiated keratinizing epithelium having minimal atypia. Atypia means structural abnormality within the cell. It also exhibits locally destructive pushing margins at its interface with underlying connective tissue and this feature made it differ from varicose hyperplasia. In varicose hyperplasia, locally destructive pushing margins at its interface with is absent. Coming to next point, it is composed of hyperplastic stratified squamous epithelium is organized into bulbous retiridges that exhibit little or no cytological atypia or mitotic activities. Here you can see bulbous retiridges. The advancing epithelial border is broad, growth is generally slow and metastatic spread occurs by late. Let's focus on the clinical features. Varicose carcinoma occurs in elderly patients and mean age of occurrence being 60 to 70 years. Common in males, frequently occurs in patients with tobacco chewing habits. Commonly involved areas are buccal mucosa, gingiva and alveolar roots. Palate and floor of the mouth are occasionally involved. Neoplasm appears papillary in nature with a pebbly surface which is sometimes covered by a white leucoplakic film. The lesions commonly have rugae like fold with deep cleft in between them, which is clearly visible from the picture. Regional lymph nodes are often tender and enlarged, simulating metastatic tumor. Bleeding is rare. Common complaints are pain and difficulty in mastication. Lesions on the mandibular ridge or gingiva grow into the overlying soft tissue and become fixed to the periosteum, gradually invading and destroying the mandible. Coming to histological features, there is generally marked epithelial proliferation with the downgrowth of epithelium into the connective tissue. The epithelium is well differentiated and show little mitotic activity, pleomorphism or hyperchromatism. Cleft-like spaces lined by a thick layer of paracarotene. Paracarotene plugging, which is the hallmark of varicose carcinoma, it extends from the surface deep into the epithelium. Basement membrane is intact. Here you can see cleft like spaces filled with the paracarotene layers and the basement membrane is intact throughout the epithelium. When the lesion become infected, focal intraepithelial abscesses are seen. A heavy inflammatory reaction in the adjacent contact tissue is also present. Here you can see intense inflammatory reaction on the adjacent connective tissue. Let's discuss the treatment and prognosis. Treatment should be entirely surgical. Since the lesion is slow growing and late to metastasis, Many cases can be treated by relatively conservative excision. Prognosis is much better than usual type of squamous cell carcinoma. So guys, I hope this video is useful for you. Please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel. Keep watching. Thank you.